Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question and answer session. This is the physiology portion. There is decreased secretion. Decreased secretion in which of the following hormone due to response to major surgery. So after major surgery, there is different type of uh, changes occur in our body. Among them, which of the following substances will reduce? Here are the options. Options are insulin, cortisol, renin, antidiuretic hormone and prolactin. So we have to find out on of the hormone which is decreased after a major surgery or response to a major surgery. So first of all, um, think about a major surgery. After major surgery, what body wants? The body wants uh, the ready food for him or ready food for the body. For this condition, body keeps ready all the food materials in the blood such as the glucose, amino acid, fatty acid water and other also an inflammatory uh, cytokines such as the interleukin 1 interleukin uh, 2 interleukin 6 tumor necrosis factor alpha so this type of all uh, inflammatory substances all the food materials and all the inflammatory cells such as the neutrophil macrophage also body wants to keep ready for different type of activity or different type of the defense for this condition uh, different hormone increases and different hormone decreases so first of all here we can see the endocrine parameter that reduce in the stress response or metabolic response to injury or any type of the injury first of all the insulin do you think the insulin it decreases it decreases glucose do you think this moment there is a reduction of glucose is good not good for this condition insulin reduce reduce then the second option is the testosterone and estro estrogen it is an emergency condition in emergency condition there is important to save life this is not the time for reproductive activity for this condition testosterone and estrogen they also reduce so insulin should reduce testosterone estrogen should reduce and which is increase first of all here yeah, this is the growth hormone we know the growth hormone it increases the glucose level in the blood so glucose is increased then cortisol we know the cortisol also it has glucogenic activity or so the cortisol also increases the glucose and it also increases the different type of inflammatory substances the glucagon we know the glucagon it also increases glucose anti-diuretic hormone it increases water in our body so here the function is available so according to function it is uh, very easy for us to find out which hormone should increase then ACTH that means the adrenocorticotropic hormone that means which increase the secretion of the adrenal gland and it is also important because from the adrenal gland epinephrine norepinephrine and different type of hormones such as the aldosterone cortisol uh, release so adrenocorticotropic hormone also it increases and it increases the secretion of the adrenal gland secretion and aldosterone aldosterone also increases because it reabsorbs the sodium and prolactin uh, it uh, also important it causes the lactopoiesis but it has some growth promoting uh, function also so prolactin also increases on the other hand here we can see the insulin insulin reduces glucose but we don't want our body don't want to reduce the glucose for this condition insulin reduce testosterone and estrogen also reduce and which is not changes thyroid stimulating hormone luteinizing hormone and follicular stimulating hormone usually not uh, this is not so much important for metabolic response to injury and this is the uh, snapshot which is taken from Bailey and love surgery book and here we can see the different type of the hormone increases first of all adrenocorticotropic hormone and growth hormone and this adrenocorticotropic hormone and growth hormone they are responsible for lipolysis and increase the lipid content in the blood on the other hand here we can see the adrenaline and cortisol they also release and they are responsible for hepatic gluconeogenesis so in this condition glucose increase and above condition lipolysis amino acid increases and the another option which is the glucagon we know the function of the glucagon the function of the glucagon is the increase 
glucose and it acts to the hepatic acute phase protein increases and protein synthesis also increases and here we can see the pro-inflammatory or inflammatory substances such as interleukin 1 interleukin 6 interleukin 8 and tumor necrosis factor alpha they also increases in their concentration and they are responsible for pyrexia for this for this any type of the inflammation first of all the first symptom is the fever because interleukin this interleukin 1 6 8 and tumor necrosis factor alpha and here some important hormone here you can see they are reduced in their concentration here this is the insulin in insulin like growth factor 1 testosterone t3 they are reduced and they causes hyper metabolism so it is this picture is a shot showing the all metabolic response of the injury i think now it is very very clear that the main goal of the metabolic responsible for injury if we remember this condition it will be very easy for us that the hormone which is increase or decreases and what are the chemical substances a body want to increase or keep ready first of all glucose amino acid fatty acid water content inflammatory substances such as interleukins tumor necrosis factor and the different type of inflammatory substances such as neutrophil macrophage so when we want to increase and uh, some electrolytes such as the sodium chloride and other electrolytes so when we remember this requirement it will be very easy for us to remember the hormone which is increase or which decrease so it is now ready that the in metabolic response to injury which substances decreases in this condition here we can see this is the insulin insulin is reduced and other hormone here such as the cortisol cortisol increase because it has gluconeogenic activity that means glucose activity and it also the different type of inflammatory activity also the renin renin secretion and it activate rash mechanism renin angiotensin aldosterone system and finally it increases sodium water content in the blood then antidiuretic hormone which is the ADAs. ADAs increases water reabsorption in the blood and prolactin also it increase because uh, it is responsible for lactobiosis and it has some growth protein uh, growth promoting effect or some uh, hypermetabolism effect for this condition prolactin also increases so the reduction occur insulin reduction occur some other important hormones such as uh, in this slide here we can see this is the insulin testosterone and estrogen these are reduced in this condition